What's up guys, how's it going? What's up, what's up? So I'm doing a different cam setup here. That means I gotta go back to my phone for chat. It's the only way. Because this looks way better. Right? Okay, so go to stream manager, yeah. Can't stand phones. And yeah, just like this is good. So now I can read your chats off of my phone. And do it upside down at least. Nope. Have to be like this. Or I'm gonna start the game very soon. Okay, this actually works. Good. Good. Got my drink there. In my controller. And the TV remote. I'm actually thinking getting one of another one of these LED nights because they look good in the back. And they're cheap too, they're like 15 bucks. Okay, let's turn that down and let's start this game, guys. Today we will explore. Lots of exploring to do. Okay. Great game. Great game. I'm having a lot of fun with this one. Okay, little link. So I got 12 seeds. One, two. Uh, let's start counting how many there is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, 11, 12. Okay, so that's 12. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So it's so it's basically 12 and 11. And 11. That's good. Um, let's see. Kinda looks fuzzy. Did it always look like this? Oh, I think it's a distance, because I'm closer. Okay. <laughs> Figures, right? Um okay. Plan, what's the plan? Plan, how about I go here, here, then go down. Right? And is the wind blowing south? Else in the past, what's up, what's up? <laughs> Else in the past says, we are back with the cool game room. Yeah, so we never left the cool game room. It was just a different part of the game room. If you see this place, man, it's like a studio in, in here. I got... <laughs> you should see how many wires I got, I got running along. <laughs> you only see the best part of the room, right? Okay. Um... Num, 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 num. South. So the wind is going. So the the advantage of this is that my viewers get a better camera angle, but I get a shittier chat, right? So I'm not I'm not close to my my computer to my screen, so I can't read off of there. So I gotta read off of the phone, which is, you know what? It's it's manageable. I rather have it this way. I thought about it. Okay, so. Wait, what is going on here? What is going on? Huh? Why? Why is my timing way off? Am I dying? <laughs> I 
Oh wow, that was hard. That was the pass says, I assume it was a basement of some sort. Uh, no, no bro, I didn't forget it. I'm just, uh, just, uh, lightheaded here. I took some Advil. Maybe that's affecting me. I don't know. Um, and I am actually on the ground floor. Um, of, uh, my, I, I rent. So I'm on the, um, uh, I'm on the floor suite. Or I guess you could call it basement suite. But it's a floor suite, you know. So my studio is my living room. Over there is my son's room. Over here is the bathroom and the kitchen. Right? Um, yeah, just just the this, this sickness sucks, right? So thought it was over, but headache, the headache crept back. But it's okay. I've been sick worse. I was watching some uh, Cobra Kai today. I'm almost done season four. Else the past says, I see, I assume it was the same setup of AVGN. I think his game room is in the basement, right? Yeah, he's had like three houses he's been in. In, in AVGN, so you you see his first one, it's his it's his bedroom that he's using. Then in his in his second setup, I think that's the best. It's kind of like his entire basement is is multiple rooms, and it's it's the old panel basement, right? So he's he's going from from room to room, and if you notice his new setup, I think it's his garage. It's it's a tiny little room. He makes it look big, but um. If you pay attention to uh, all of his uh, videos for, I think, let's say, see, his last two seasons, right? And that room is tiny. So I guess he sold his old place and then he bought a new one. Yeah. I, I love this old setup. It was, it was very cool. He had, a, he had a, a movie room where he put all of his uh, VHS and DVDs. So Chris yesterday told me that the fishies are by the island. Goodbye. Sail around the island. Oh, that is he's right there. So that's dead on. Else the past says, I never noticed he changed rooms. Yeah, uh, the the reason being, I never noticed either until um, until on Mike Matei's stream he mentioned it, because uh, AVGM wanted to make his new room look just like the old one, so he gave it that that illusion. Else the past says, haven't watched Cobra Kai, have heard good things about it. It's so good. Oh man, <laughs> it's so good. Let's see what Don Fist says about here. You see that there volcano that's spewing out lava like there's no tomorrow? Yeah, well, they say there's a great treasure hidden inside that thing. Thing is, everyone who's ever tried to get inside has just been blasted away with the great balls of fire. That came shooting off the top. Want to get inside? You ought to go find the island that's one square north and four square west here. That's where the power of freeze anything is. Okay. So I gotta freeze it. Gotcha. Next, uh, going east here. Or southeast. Yeah, that's the right direction. Yeah, I'm I'm learning all this all this stuff as I go, right? With the with the lighting and all that, and 
what I'm finding out with the camera work and lighting is that um, there's never enough too much light. Like, like you could have all the light in the world and or more, and and the camera will look better. And I never realized that. And I'm I'm finding that out this week actually from the old uh, the the setup I tried for the last few streams. It's just so dark there, and and I don't know why. I think because my couch doesn't reflect any light. But I got. I got some ideas. I'm gonna I'm gonna decor that place up. I'm gonna put some blinds. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do some stuff there. Cause that's a really comfy spot. That's a treasure, guys. Yeah, I ain't getting that trigger. No way. Where's the fish? The, the, yeah, I see it. I see it. Oh, is that why? Crap. Which way? Oh, that's why. Okay. Um, wand north east. Yeah, I was thinking about what to play after this game. I'll I'll go back to the poll. So I'll do uh, I'll do Dragon Quest Seven. So I'll go back to uh, PS One games. It'll be oh no no stop. There it is. Okay. Yeah, so I'll go back to Dragon Quest Seven because I think. Uh, since Vagrant's story didn't win, it'd be only appropriate for Dragon Quest VII to win. Had the second most votes. Or might I say that Vagrant's story wasn't good. <laughs> it's just a bad game. But people, people like it. Some people really like it. I wouldn't sail through these seas on nights when the left of the half moon, the left half of the moon is missing. You'll regret it if you do, Fry. I'm warning you. It's not my fault if you get scared. <sighs> okay, sure. Yeah, crap. We're gonna go the other way. So, yeah. Crap. That's good. I bet some of the fun, or if not half the fun of this game is... Charting the maps. Also, the past says, looking forward to Dragon Quest. Never played any of the games myself. Really? Wow. Um, I played, I actually played the first one on NES years ago, and I beat it years ago. This was probably like 1990, 91 or something. Could have been later, but. Um, I played it, I kept coming back to it over and over again. And I played Dragon Quest IX on the DS. It was really good. And the series is uh, legendary, right? It's, it's on like Final Fantasy level. So since I haven't played the games, except 1 and 9, very likely I'd be playing through 2 to 8 all on, on the channel, right? So it'd be really cool.
And I'm looking at um, how do you stream DS games, and it just looks like a piece of hardware that you put on your DS. So that would be really cool, streaming DS games. I'm saying this because uh, I have uh, a lot of Dragon Quest games on the DS. There's a lot of remakes. So the fish be around here? Why don't I go towards there? Maybe that's this panel. It is this panel, and that's the fish right there. Mr. Dunfish, make me an offer that I cannot refuse. Man, and I still want to do Twilight uh, Twilight Princess. After playing this, uh, I'm kind of in that Zelda mood, right? There's so many Zeldas I haven't beat. I want to do Minish Cap. Tell me, Small Fry, do you have any of them golden feathers? I hear those things are all the rage with Rito ladies on Dragon Roost Island these days. They just go gaga over them gaga goo goo. <laughs> The thing is, the only way to get the gold, get a golden feather, is to defeat one of those bird monsters. So they say. Yep, Rito men who have girlfriends, sure, sure have tough lots in life. I tell you, that's all the info I've got. Offer. I want to hear it again or oh, whatever. Zelda DX, that's another one I want to play. It's it's just an excuse to play Wind Waker again. Or not, not Wind Waker, uh, Link's Awakening again. <laughs> With the new added stuff. Man, and there's that new one too. The HD remake of Wind, uh, Link's Awakening. Also the pass says... There's also Skyward so Sword. Check it out, bro. <laughs> it's right here beside me. Skyward Sword, got it. I got this a while ago. Oh, it's got a controller in it? That is dope. Close the Wiimote. The Zelda Wiimote. I probably shouldn't use it. i get all used up. Let me see. Oh, this is sealed, man. I don't think I should open this, should I? Maybe, maybe I'll just get a get a used copy or something like a beat up one for cheap. <laughs> I stopped because I stopped buying games in um, I think like 2011, basically right around t time the uh, Wii uh, the Wii was out and I was buying games for it. It was cheap, so I got like I got a bunch of games for it. I was playing uh, Punch Out. Today with my son. He liked it. Okay. Is uh, Skyward Sword good? I don't hear anybody talk about it. Skyward Sword. There is also Phantom Hourglass. Okay, 
Hourglass. Phantom Hourglass is on the DS, yeah. Have you ever played the uh, Mario RPG games on the GBA? There is Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Then, then there's a bunch of them after that. I remember buying a bunch of them. Um, there's one where, where, where I think you shrink and then you fight on in Bowser or something. Oh wait, I didn't. I didn't explore this one. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, let's do that. Else in the Past says, I don't think people like Skyward Sword as much as Wind Waker or Twilight Princess. Probably because the motion controls. Okay, that makes sense. You gotta move the Wii like a sword and shit. Oh, really? Oh, that's horrible, man. Ugh, that really turns me off, actually. Austin the Paz also says, I only played the first Mario & Luigi. Very fun. Yeah, it was great, right? Yeah, really enjoyed it. I heard the other ones were good, too. Oh, the fish is right there. Thought I got this tile. Else in the past says, Skyward Sword got a port to the Switch that gives an option to use traditional controls. I don't know if it makes it any better though. There's one way to find out, trying the game out. Plus, uh, I don't have a Switch, so I'd have to play it on the Wii. It should be, uh, I think it, it would be cheap too, if I were just to buy the game. Tell me, Small Fry, have you ever heard of the Golden Triumph Forks? They are there on that island. Or at least a chart leading to them is there. Where is it hidden, you ask? Well, for the answer to that, you'll have to ask a gull. That's all the info. I got, oh, Meowth was saying that I got to use the seagulls. Okay, um, so. First, I will chart the map. Everything. Then I'll go exploring. The squares um Yeah, there's this Dragon Quest game, actually. Um, here, I'll show you. I tried this one. Uh, it's called Dragon Quest Sword, the Mask Queen, and the Towers of Mirror. So it's first person, and 
when I saw this, I'm like, oh, cool. It's, it's like shining into darkness slash um, the Holy Ark, right? And you got to use your Wiimote. Swing your sword around. So I turned it off pretty quickly after that. But I got a bunch of RPGs on the Wii, man. I could totally play them, too. Else the past says, don't know if I already asked, but do you own the last story? The last story, the last. Is that on the Wii? Last story. What console would that be? Oh, I got Kirby's Epic Yarn on here. Nice. Oh, it's it's factory sealed. Damn. Oh, I see. Okay, so. I got Twilight Princess on Wii and GameCube, but I opened the Wii version. So the GameCube one is going to stay sealed. Okay, I see. I see what I did. I got Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World. For the Wii. Last story. I don't think so. No, I don't. I I got like a bunch of funky games, man. What what do I have this? I got this one called Arc Rise Fantasia. Oh, we got a raid. Atomic Bomb with a rate of 16. Atomic Bomb, bro, how's it going? Thank you so much for the raid. <laughs> just just dropped out of nowhere, huh? <laughs> much appreciated. Yeah, dropped onto my channel. Look at this, just bombs everywhere. The raid has become Enzo152. I'm guessing you're a fan of uh, Reboot, Enzo Matrix, right? And how's it going, guys? Raiders, what's up, what's up? I am playing Wind Waker here on Original Console, GameCube. So you can watch me chart the map. Come for the ride, for the adventure, for exploring. I was just talking about some uh, retro games here. Alice in the Past was asking me if I owned the Lost Story on, on the Wii, which I don't. Atomic Bomb asks, how am I doing? I'm doing great, bro. How are you? 1980. You're actually older than me. <laughs> we're on the same generation. That's awesome. I was born in 82. Uh, what were you playing, man? What game were you doing? So I'm charting the map and I'm also picking up these treasures. Great. Tommy Bomb says, haha, nice. I was playing Wind Waker HD on my Wii U. Oh, cool. Right on. I don't have a Wii U. I stopped at the Wii. But I heard the, the, the HD changes some things. Um, obviously, you can't hook up the... Um, the Game Boy Advance, right? It doesn't have that in, in here with Tingle on the HD, but uh, it it makes some things easier from what I heard. You know which? I gotta find that fish. Dawn fish.
So yeah, Raiders, I am Zafferson Toxas. I do retro games. Almost exclusively. And I do a lot of RPGs. No, that's not it, huh? That's the fish. Yeah, that's the fish. Oh, man, I gotta use this. For example, the last game I streamed, well, I'm not counting Vigor Story, I did uh, Castlevania Harmony and Dissonance on Game Boy Advance. Uh, before that, I did Legend of Dragoon on PlayStation. So I've done a lot of PlayStation games. Just because uh, I accumulated the games over my life, but uh, I never, never owned a PlayStation growing up, so why I've been on a PlayStation binge. Tommy Bomb asks, uh, um, it makes things easier, especially the sailing. Oh, really? So, they made the sa uh, sailing a lot more uh, friendly? Because the sailing is kind of like you're, you're just plopped into this giant world. It's like, here you go, sail. Do your thing, right? Hey, Small Fry, do you know about the Nintendo Gallery? The only way in... The only way in there is to hit a switch that's way up on the Forest Haven. But the only way to do that would be to bribe one of the gulls by putting a little bait on your head. That's all the info I got. Cool, cool, good stuff. So, I've streamed off of PlayStation, I'm doing GameCube right now, um, I've done, oh man, we got sharks here? Oh man, better get moving. I've done Game Boy Advance, oh man, this is rough. Okay. Plus I think that's, that's the wrong direction. I want to do PS2 as well, and I want to do Super Nintendo. I think I've done like one Super Nintendo game, but I love the Super Nintendo. I've done Genesis, I've done Sega CD, I've done Sega Saturn. <laughs> Plan on doing like, like Dreamcast, PS2. Xbox, Xbox 360, PS3, PS4. Eventually I'll get to them. And the game I'll be doing next will be on PlayStation actually, Dragon Quest 7. And that's, it's kind of a theme I'm trying to do on my channel where I play games that I've never played before. Or that I've, I've played and I've put down, so when I say play I mean like beat. So I want to experience my, my backlog, right? That's, that's the idea here. Okay, cool, so I've almost gone all the way down. I think I see the fish. Yeah, that's it. Look at those seagulls. Oh man. 
get a drink in me. Atomic Bomb says, We are gonna go we are going to feel really old when PS when PS3 and Xbox 360 are considered retro. Yeah, I don't know what classifies as retro. I would say like 20, 25 years. I think that's that's pretty much retro. I go by by generation, so uh, to me, retro is everything up to like PS2, Dreamcast, and Xbox, right? So everything, everything above that is uh, new, right? And everything under that is is retro. Atomic Bomb says I do the same. Experience the backlog and. I have a redeem to let off first choose a game I have not beat, but I can make exceptions if I plan to replay it. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, I do. I did something similar on my on my Discord. I just put a poll, and I let I let people choose. Um, what won the what won the vote last time was Vagrant Story. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> the the masses spoke, but I didn't like the game. Right, so I stopped playing it after one stream. I think I put like three hours into it. And that was enough for me. But the game that won next most votes was Dragon Quest 7. So after this game, I'm, I'm going to go back to it. I've seen a small fry. The ghost ship. Yeah, I saw the ghost ship. Because it's real. It's even been seen here in these very waters. On nights when the crescent moon faces down. That's when horror rises. That's all I've got to say. Atabi Bomb says, I have the redeem at 50,000 points, but I will do polls if no one redeems it. Oh, fair enough. Okay, okay. That's a good idea, man. 50,000 points, yeah. So so anybody who, who watches you on a regular basis is going to have those points, right? Cool, good stuff. So bad at this. Tommy Mom says I have Dragon Quest 7 on the 3DS. I don't have the original. I got it behind me. It's, uh, here, I'll show you, man. It actually said Dragon Warrior 7. Because uh, you know how uh, the the Americans. They they, uh, they couldn't use Dragon Quest here. I believe it had to do with um, there was this like D and D type of game because of copyright issues. They don't want to. They don't want to use the uh, quest right at the end of it. I don't know what changed later on, but things changed. It's it's definitely a series I want to revisit. I played one and nine, and beat one and nine right. And they're really, really dope. But Tommy Mom says, "Yeah, I just had two redeems these past few weeks. Alex was chosen, so that is the next game. And the other redeem was from today, and he will let me know what he chooses. That's cool, man. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, a fun way to interact, right?" And then you get to play your backlog. <coughs> Probably get to start week, uh, work this week. Sick home. Oh, these guys again.
What is this? Aha, see it. Tommy Mom says, yeah, I played the series a little when it was Warrior, and now I own the remaster of 1 to 3 on Switch. Nice, okay, okay. Dragon Quest VIII on PS2 is one of the best. Nine was decent on DS. Really? Nine, nine was decent? I thought nine was great, so it means that the other Dragon Quests are way better. Okay, cool, cool. And 11 was really good, so... Um, said 8 is on PS2. I think I got the one on PS2 you're talking about. Yeah, bro, I got it. Awesome, okay. Okay, that could be down, down the line, too. Man, there's just so many games I gotta play. Plus, what's cool about Dragon Quest games is that uh, it's uh, it's uh, Akira Toriyama, right? So, Dragon Ball fans know this guy. It's nice seeing his art. Tommy Mom says, never finished 9, but I remember liking it. I say decent because I don't know how it ends. Oh, okay. It was long. It was really, really long. I think it's it's easily like a 40, 50 hour plus game. I played it probably 14 years ago, so I don't remember much of it. just remember it was good. Let me ask you something, Fry. Have you been using R to make your boat jump? Well, have you? Of course. Going out to sea just to jump around would be real dumb if you ask me. Anyway, what you can do is tilt left or right to move your tiller just as you land. That's how you make sharp turns. Oh! Okay, Meowth was saying that, but I couldn't get it to work. So that's why, just as you land. Good stuff. Oh yeah. I see. Yeah, very sharp turns. Yeah, the the DS has so many good games I like to get back to. Um one game that I really really want to get back to is called Etrian Odyssey. I just have a very big fondness for uh, third-person RPGs, like the uh, dungeon crawler style. Oh, come on, man! I'm trying to get treasure here. Oh, I'm not invincible. Oh, man. I thought I'd be invincible when I was using the hook. Uh, yeah, so let's not do that. So... Let's, see. let's find the fish. Oh my god. There's a million of them. Wait, is that him right there? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, like, on, on top of that, I also want to play some uh, platforming games. Yeah, I love my RPGs. I love my first-person RPGs, like Loot and Shoots. I love my uh, Metroidvania RPGs. <laughs> but I want to play, like, NES platformers. I want to play Kirby, uh, Kirby's Adventure. 
on the NES. Northeast of here is the Forest Haven. They say a truly unique kind of firefly is indigenous to that place. You heard of it, small fry? A firefly, small fry? It emits bursts of light in seven colors. Supposedly, it's as beautiful as a rainbow. You want to capture one, though? You'd best have a bottle to keep. Oh, really? I gotta put it in the bottle. Okay, I see, I see. Shantae. Like, the Game Boy Color game? That's really, really expensive. It's It's got the all, all like, Arabian themes and everything. I believe that's Shantae. Okay, let's go up now. Uh... That actually looks like a good game for, for a Game Boy Color game. Looks great. There's some games on Game Boy Color I'd like to play as well. There's, uh, there's Lufia 3. I'd love to get into that one. All in time, man. There's just so many games, and I'm getting older and older. Shantae was ported over to the Switch, and it's really cheap. Okay, that's cool. It's good at Nintendo to do that. I don't own a Switch, though. Oh, what is this? Look at this. We got the fish. what this guy says there's this amazing treasure inside that freezing ring of ice over there but even if you wanted it and try to get it inside you'd just be frozen solid as soon as you approach the shore but if you go force four squares no north and three squares west. Find the power to melt the ice. Classic Zelda. Ice and fire rods. Tommy Bomb says all the retro Shantae games are ported. I have them all and such good Metroidvania, really. Do you have the best Zelda do you have the best 2D Zelda clone ever made to this day? What is the best 2D Zelda clone ever made? Is it on a Sega Master System or Genesis? I'm thinking uh Golden Axe is it Warrior? I don't have that one. I got the crappy version of Golden Axe on the second Master System. There is one that's like Legend of Zelda. It looks pretty cool. And there is... Um, I think it's called Crusader Ascenti. I don't have that one either on, on the Genesis. It's really good. Oh, what is this? We got a treasure, boys. Let's get it. Please don't be sharks everywhere. Those guys are just dicks. Oh, 
Tommy Bomb says, Alundra on PS1. I believe I do actually have Alundra. Yeah, bro, I got it. I got one and two on PS1. I, I heard it was good too. Um, what's his name? Um, one of the guys, I think it's either Little Gremlin or... Or it's... It's another dude. He was he was telling me to play that game. That it's really good, and he showed me uh, images too, or uh, he showed me videos. So, all oh, right, I'm still going this way. Got sidetracked there. Yeah, Alundra. Yeah, I I keep hearing that thrown around. the fish aha stop done fish make me the offer that I cannot refuse Tommy mom says Alondra 2 was okay but had nothing to do with the first game but the first game so much like a link to the past really okay okay i'll have to play it i'll have to give it a chance so tell me small fry have you heard of the golden set of trying forks it's right there, I tell you, a chart that shows you where they are. And that, if you want it, you better go in there and scour the place from floor to ceiling. I will. I need to do the map first. Bye bye, fishy. Atomic Bomb says also has like 15 minutes of anime cutscenes. Old school FMVs on PS1, hell yeah. Those are pretty neat. I really got a taste of it with uh, FF7 and Legend of Dragoon. That had a lot of them. Fantasy Star, uh, not Fantasy Star. Star Ocean had them as well. Tales of Destiny, that's another one. Nice FMVs. It's probably why Legend of Dragoon was four CDs. <laughs> four CDs, guys. Oh no, the dude. Oh, I didn't find the fish here last time. Okay.
Go, go, go. There's nothing in this square. Trying to find a fish. That's a lot of light, eh? better, yeah. Where are you? Doo -doo -doo. Kind of running out of ideas here. But a fish is always supposed to be by an island, right? And it's gonna be nighttime, so I'm gonna go night day with the song. This works. Oh, really? That's it. That'd be too far. I think it would be too far. Yeah, that's an S swear. The hell is this? Ah, guess I got this square. Tommy Bomb says, most people call me Atomic. That's easier than my whole Twitch name. Oh, cool, okay. I'll call you Atomic. Atomic. Atomic Winter. The nuclearness. I see. Maybe it's a very, very... Very, very small island. Word is they hold an auction every night over there on Windfall Island. Oh, yeah. Every night the people gather in the Hall of Wealth to amuse themselves by spending little money. Ah, uh, the rich. Auctions may be a race to see who can bid the highest. But I'll let you in on a little secret. The key to winning the auction be both patient and bold. Bold. To get some great things up on the auction box. Yeah, apparently there's a swift sale on there, right? That's what I need to get. 
Okay, let's go back there. I need to hit that tile. Look at the look at the map. It's actually looking good. Okay. Awesome. Is that it? Man, why are there seagulls here? Still wondering what this panel has. I haven't found anything except tornadoes. Mm 
Let's make the wind go north and then let's make it daytime. sign of the fish does even exist I'm not sure this fish exists but I must find it Tommy Bomb says, if only you could make it night and day like that in real life. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool, man. Without skipping time. Time is the most valuable thing in the world. It's also a concept that people invented, right? Okay, so down. then go to windfall and more bait. Let's so go here next. Yeah, uh, the sailing part takes a long time, actually. That's why I need those swift, swift sails. That's what they're called. Atomic says, yeah, the sailing is the part that people hate the most. Really? People hate the sailing the most? What? 
So, I played the first Zelda back in 87, and I, I remember the most fun thing about that game was the exploration. The freedom that the game let you to go wherever. And honestly, the sailing is the is the part I like the most about this game. The the dungeons were cool. I've done two of them. They were actually pretty cool. Lots of puzzles and and the flow went really well. Cool. This guy's got seeds, man. Thank you. It's something I, I like about Zelda games over, let's say, um, Beyond the Beyond on PS One that did puzzles. It's just in Zelda games. The whole flow of the dungeon is not screwed up by by some battles, right? Most RPG games add battles to the dungeon while they're trying to add uh, puzzle mechanics and it just kills the mood. Like, like, oh, what was I doing? What was the puzzle again? I totally forgot. Oh no, is the fish gone? Go away! No, 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 no. He's over there, the fish is over there, go away! We'll have to go back to that dude. He actually seen me trip. Atomic says, outside of sailing, people love this game otherwise. Well, ones that accept the awesome cell graphics. Um, I was one that didn't accept the cell graphics. I hated that Link looked like a kid. To me, Link is the annoying teenager from, from the cartoon, adult Link, right? So I really liked him in Ocarina of Time. But once you play the game, none of that matters. You know, I could get over what the graphics look like because this game is so, so good. It flows so well. Uh, my, my only complaint is honestly the uh, C, directional C. Uh, when I, when I want to, okay, when I want to move left, I need to hold right on the uh, C direction. If I want to move right, I need to hold left. That's the only thing I don't like. A famed discographer lives far to the north of here on Windfall Island. He's apparently real wise and talented in the ways of pictography. He's even said to have legendary picto pictographs that he treasures above all other things. He keeps them hidden away in a secret safe, or so they say. By the way, small fry, what exactly is a pictograph anyway? That's all the employee got. Okay, let's let's go to that blue again. Oh man, go away. No, no. I don't even know what direction to go. Atomic says, I love Zelda, I didn't care about the graphics to any of them and was just happy to get more Zelda. Yeah, 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 e exactly. Uh, that's what Zelda should be. It shouldn't be about the graphics. It should be, uh, once you try the game, you should be like, holy crap, I want to play this. I want to keep playing this. And I saw this game when it came out. I was like, oh, I, I don't want to play it. Then, you know what? I got the uh, Zelda Collector's Edition GameCube. And I tried it. They had a demo. I was like, "This is this is pretty fun." Okay, okay, okay. I, I understand. It's actually good. Crap, he's over there, isn't he?
Next out. Yes. Oh, really? Where is he? It's right there. Okay. Something else this game could have used. I'm very surprised they didn't add it. Here, I'll show you. They have it right there, a compass. Why not put it on the map? Look, at the bottom left there. Like, what the fuck is that? What is that? I got no clue what that is. I, I, I could go like this, okay? That's day and night, sure. But why did they put a compass there? <laughs> I don't understand. They went through all this trouble and they didn't put something so simple. And what's a compass for? It's 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 used best in the ocean, right? So I don't get lost. So I gotta keep pressing pressing the map screen when I need to know where I need to go. Tommy Bomb says, I'd even play a Zelda game with Zelda as the lead or even Link. Linkle. <laughs> Just more Zelda as long as it stays true to the format. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you say format, would you play a 2D platformer Zelda like, like Zelda 2? It's something that Nintendo has never revisited. Marimoto um, basically said... He didn't like the game, he doesn't understand how people like it, and I think that's a big mistake that, that Nintendo is making. If they went that way, man, that that game has so much potential, and they could do a new Zelda with, with like 3D graphics, but, but do it like 3D, but, but 2D, kind of like Street Fighter 4, Street Fighter 5, I think it would look great. And there's a lot of people that love platforming games. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, we'll go south. Atomic says, perks to the Wii U. I can use that tablet to see the map as I play without going into the menu. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Because, um, yeah, I wish I had a second screen. I wish, like, the DS or the 3DS. That's what's so good about it. It's like, imagine when you play, like, let's say, um, Harmony, uh, uh, Castlevania Harmony Dissonance or any Metroidvania games, and then you have your map on one screen, then you play on another screen. It works just so well, right? I think that, that alone, if I can go back and choose which version of Wind Waker I want to play, and if you told me that right then and there, as I'm making my choice, oh, if you play this on the Wii U, you have a second screen for the map. It's like, bam, sold. Sold. I'm doing it. Second screen for the map, man. Tommy Bomb says they could remake Zelda 2 in a style like Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Fuck yeah, exactly right. Because um, because Zelda 2 is is kind of like a Metroidvania, but not really. The funnest part of that game is is the is the the temples. That's what's fun about it, right? And the temples are kind of like a, a Metroidvania. And again, Zelda 2 like any other Zelda game, goes with Link. You're in full control of Link, and he's just very fun to control. And when you think about it, Link is so powerful because you can do stuff that no other enemy does, right? And Zelda 2 has that in it, right? 
it's uh, it just it took me a lot of times to play that game to uh, un understand that that's that's strength of Zelda too is that Link is very fun to control and I wish the game was more I wish the game had a, a different learning curve that's why I really really want to get I think I just saw the fish yeah he's right there that's why I, re I really want to get an EverDrive and I want to play Zelda 2 Winter Solstice on the NES uh, or other other mod hacks right I want to play Legend of Zelda mod hacks like um, there's a randomizer for it, a really good one too, right? It'd, it'd be great to get into that. It's over there, isn't it? Okay. Yes. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. Atomic says, I'm going to stream the trilogy of this Wind Waker, Phantom Hourglass, and Spirit Tracks. Wait, Ph Phantom Hourglass follows this game. Spirit Tracks. What about uh, Minish Cap? Doesn't Minish Cap follow this one too? Because you're saying Trilogy, and I thought there was only two games, like Wind Waker and Minish Cap. Let me go check. No, f yeah, Phantom Hourglass is... It's on the DS, right? Yeah. Where is it? Oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. That, yeah, Phantom Hourglass is the same, same uh, style. What about Minish Cap? That one was pretty fun, too. Yeah, check it out, bro. Minish Cap as well. It's the same art. So there's four games. And I don't believe I have Spirit Tracks. So that one I wouldn't be able to do, but cool, awesome. Hang on. You streamed Minish Cap already. It's, it's pretty cool, huh? You get to shrink. I played it for like an hour or so just to try it out. So all, all four games follow each other in a timeline? A okay. uh, small frat, I will make you an offer you cannot refuse. More heart shaped islands, okay. Listen up, small fry. This is just between you and me. On Outset Island, buried beneath the black soil, there's some serious treasure. I know it sounds like I'm trying to pull your leg, but I'm serious. Try digging there. Try digging there. I don't even have a shovel. Wonder if I'll ever get a shovel. Okay, um. Why don't I go south? Yeah. Atomic says, Minish Cap Link is not the same Link. It's not the same Link. Okay. Okay. So there's actually three games that follow each other. Wow.
Okay, so is Minish Cap kind of its own thing then? Does it follow any game? I think there's a link to the past and Link's Awakening are followed by each other. Okay, okay, so it should be right around there actually. That's where the fish should be. Atomic says Spirit Track takes <coughs> place between the same timeline, but like 100 years later. But Breath of the Wild shows they can live that long. So I'm sure it seemed like really. Link can live over a hundred years? Okay. Yeah, because I've seen people try to connect all the Zeldas. That doesn't work, man. They, the games are so different. So you gotta, like, connect, just like you were saying, the uh, trilogy, right? You gotta connect, like, trilogies or, or, the, or the pairs of games that, that go together. Shit, I missed it. Tommy Bomb says, A Link to the Past, Link's Awakening, Oracle of Ages, Seasons, A Link Between Two Worlds in the same timeline. Are you sure uh, about Ages and Seasons? Those are Capcom games. I thought they were kind of like their own continuity. Continuity. They, they do look similar to Link's Awakening, but now that you mention it, though, between A Link Between Two Worlds, that, that follows A Link to the Past, right? Or... Or it's like between Link's Awakening. That game looks so good. Oh my god. I don't have it, but uh looks great. I believe the the gimmick in that game is that Link Link goes through like walls. He attaches himself to the walls or something. Small fry, there's a real heavy stone head blocking. A cave on that island. Don't you wonder what's behind it? Don't you want to get in there? Let me tell you a great secret. You know the north four squares and east three squares, the fire mountain, you'll find an item that gives you the strength to easily lift anything. No matter how heavy it is. That thing you can lift a stone and toss it out of the way as if it were light as a feather. You will have the strength of hope. That. Okay, let's head north now. Crazy. Atomic says Minish Cap follows Skyward Sword. Really? Okay. That's cool, man. Have you seen the Angry Video Game Nerd episode of uh, he tries connecting all the Zelda timelines, and it's it's like a rabbit hole. It just doesn't end. In my simple uh, video game mind, I try to think of it like uh, you know how in in Marvel and DC you got different universes same heroes but they're a little bit different in, in each universe i try to think of it like that oh can i explore these yeah i should oh, we should explore this the crap is this Wait, 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 are they, are they throwing bomb, bombs at me? They're throwing bombs at me.
how are mice throwing bombs? I'm not bothered by the fact that there's bombs everywhere, but how are mice picking these things up? And how are they smart enough? Oh, do I have to blow up? I think I got it. Did that work? No. I gotta kill the ringleaders. Are you gonna give me hearts? Say the wrong thing. It was an ambush. We all got slaughtered. Sucker rats. <laughs> Atomic says Kingdom Hearts storyline and how they connect is just confusing. Yeah, that episode of Angry Video Game Earth is. It seemed like somebody forced them to do it. It, it. I can't see the nerd playing Kingdom Hearts games. Um, I've never played any of them. I'll probably get to it. But uh, I don't know. Like, I, I already don't like playing kids in video games. I'm, I'll make an exception to Zelda. Or Link, might I say. Oh, that's good. It's one of the reasons, like, if I had a choice, I'd, I'd play with Adult Link. Like in Ocarina. So whenever I think about playing Kingdom Hearts, I'm like, I'm going to have to play a kid with a key. Playing with a key, man. If you've ever played Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, it's actually one of the reasons why I quit playing that game. I was told, oh yeah, it's like Final Fantasy Tactics, right? Okay, so I had played a little bit of Tactics, done like three battles or so, then I got Final Fantasy Tactics Advance on the GBA, and it's basically a bunch of kids in an attic. They read a story and they go inside a kid's storybook. And all the classes are like little kid things. I'm like, and I played it for about 50 hours or so. I'm like, I can't take this anymore. So I just put it down. Then I went back and played Final Fantasy Tactics on the PlayStation 1. And they're nothing alike. Those two games. The story of... FF Tactics on PlayStation 1, it's amazing. It, it it uses the least amount of words to describe a story. So, so the flow of, of the game is always... That's a tornado. Meow told me about that. Yeah, I'm going to have to fight that tornado. Atomic Bomb, Atomic says, Spirit Track takes place at the end of adult timeline. Within the Zelda community, it takes place a century following the events of Wind Waker. And it's direct sequel, Phantom Hourglass. Baldahad says, hey, how's it going, bro? You quit? 
Spotify's tactics advanced for the same reason? Nice, nice. <laughs> it went from a brutal story of betrayal and murdered the kids throwing snowballs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. How good is the story of Final Fantasy Tactics? They don't show a lot in the story, right? There's like, if if you take all, all the story pieces, there isn't much, but it's told in such a way that you don't need giant dialogue to tell yourself a good story. You just need the right words and the right images, and that's all it takes. And of course, the game's pacing, right? It's so well done. And, and yeah, FF ta Tactics has an amazing story. It was so good. Atomic says, so Spirit Tracks is in the trilogy, but not the same length. Okay. Okay. I don't have Spirit Tracks. I stole the Triforce. Hey, how's it going, bro? We got a Zelda fan in here. What's up? What's up? Waves of Faith. Hey, how's it going? Waves of Faith says, how are we tonight? We're doing great tonight. I'm playing some Wind Waker, and I am trying to finish the map here. Once I finish the map, uh, I'll go do some more adventuring here. Thomas says, Link is a powerful is a powerful Jedi, much more powerful than like Luke Skywalker or Yoda. They have the Force, while Link has Triforce. I'd say Link is more powerful. Have you seen the episode of Death Battle? Uh, they they did Cloud versus Link twice. I don't buy the the second one. The second one was just to appease uh, Final Fantasy fans. Link beats Cloud, okay? Like every single time, he's that powerful. Link, like you said, he's got the Triforce. He didn't even need it. His shield, his sword, he's got the the uh, gauntlet, the strength gauntlet, okay? That gives him, like, Hulk-like strength, okay? And he he's just overly powerful. We just don't realize it because we're, we're playing a video game, right? But, but canon-wise, he's very powerful. <laughs> I stole the Triforce. You stole the Triforce, so are you Ganon? Where's the face says exciting stuff. Alice in the past says, but which link? I don't know which link they use. They it seems like they use adult link, maybe the one from Ocarina of Time, where he's all grown up. That's the link that they used. Because you're right, uh, different links would have different power. Small fry is here. Let's do this. Oh, what was the last one they did? They oh, dude, they they did Thor, Thor versus Vegeta, and <laughs> Thor wins. Okay, I didn't realize how strong Thor was. So I just don't understand that um, Hulk beats Thor, but apparently, in his battles, when Hulk Hulk fight Thor, Thor holds back because he doesn't want to kill. He doesn't want to blow up the planet. So he's that powerful. It's like what? Thor is that powerful? That's crazy, man. Because I I watch Dragon Ball. I know how strong Dragon Ball characters are, right? Tell me, uh, Small Fry. Have you ever been caught in one of those cyclones? The Wind Deity Cyclos uses those cyclones to fly across the sea instantaneously. Or so I've heard. It could just be a rumor. Boy, if you had that power, you wouldn't... Have to spend so much time sailing back and forth across the sea all the time? Really? But let me tell you, there's no way he'll give up the power so easily. You can get near the guy, so I'll have to can't get near the guy, so I have to figure out how to shoot him from a distance. Don't you have a weapon that can pierce things from a distance? Like you know, like whip, whip. I tell you, you get my point, Fry. Oh, so what? He gives me a new song? Atomic Bomb says, or Twilight Princess Link. Right, because he's... Yeah, he kind of looks like him too, right? Uh, Where's the Face says, a lot of people downplay Kratos from God of War because of the events of the game. They have to do that or the game wouldn't last five minutes. Right? Yeah, Kratos fights the um, Olympian gods, right? He kills the Olympian gods, and the Olympian gods are pretty damn powerful. Like in, uh, in, in the Marvel Universe, Hercules, extremely powerful, right? 
I stole the tri. I stole the Triforce. Says I stole the tri. Oh, it's tri fierce. Tri tri fierce. Oh, <laughs> I'm being dyslexic here. Not the Triforce, which the tri fierce is a silver. Is silver and corrupted. Okay, okay, I get you. Wizard Face says there is, there are versions of Thor that is insane. Atomic Bomb says Ma Samus can whoop up Master Chief easily. Yeah, yeah, Atomic, that's true, right? Samus won, and uh, from what I've seen in the whole Nintendo verse, Kirby is the strongest one. Kirby is like he's like a planet buster. He could apparently grow as large and like eat planets. He's that powerful. And he ends up beating Kid Boo in death battle. That's crazy. So okay, I fight this guy, right? Do I use the, the whip? Oh, is that him? Foolish creature. Who does not fear the gods? To the end of the sea, will you let the winds of Cyclos' wrath blow you away? What? What a dick. Atomic Bomb says Hercules is Kratos' half-brother. He does appear in a series. I saw that part in the game where uh, the fight with Hercules and Kratos just like whoops his ass. Link, are you alright? It would seem that God's Cyclosa. Whatever. I don't care. I know what happened. Sent me somewhere else. Whatever. So let's go west. Whatever, Cyclos. You're not cool enough. time to go back. Did he fully heal me? I think he did. Cyclos fully healed me. What a nice frog. Pretty close to being done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know how to get that one in the middle. But I'm gonna go for the seven squares and go adventuring some more. Yeah, some of my favorite death battles on uh, on the YouTube channel is you guys look up Guts vs. Nightmare, so Berserk vs. Soul Calibur. That one is so good. It's a pretty even fight too. 
both guys are on the same strength. They did one, it was, uh, I think it was Doomsday versus Hulk. I don't know what the hell they, they were thinking doing that one. Because I read Hulk, like, well, I shouldn't say I read Hulk. I've read Hulk in the comics. He's pretty damn strong, especially over Hulk, but you take Doomsday. And that guy is like, he goes through planets and he goes through like space, so he fought the entire Justice League. Uh, killed, killed Superman, so <laughs> some of them are mismatches that they end up doing. And then some of them uh, I really liked, like uh, Goku vs. Superman. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a bigger Dragon Ball fan than, than uh, DC fan, than Superman fan, but... You know, I've, I've read Superman comics. I know how ridiculously powerful he is, and... When I would go, um, I would do... Um, like, uh, years ago, I would go on like reddits and old like game facts and see what people had to say and it was like oh Go goku can good do this 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 his potential is this and that's and they and they refer to um cartoon superman where he he's got like trouble lifting a truck or something right so i kind of like the results of that one on death battle okay so here, this should be right here. And he's right there. Another favorite of mine is uh, Strider Hear You from the game Strider versus Wii U Hayabusa. From the, the Ninja Guiding game, so you have Ninja versus Ninja. That was a great one. Atomic says, "What's crazy is that Supergirl is actually stronger than Superman." There's probably variations of Supergirl that are stronger than than Superman, and uh, there is also Superboy Prime which is he's basically like the second strongest superman ever made he's just insane like this this guy made a video on youtube about what superboy prime did he, he he took on like like all the different universes he took on like thousands of different kinds of superheroes and beat them all he took on like all the green lantern cores at once he took on all the flashes at once it's like what the hell right so, so you're saying there's a, a version of Supergirl that's more powerful than Superman. So I'm imagining she's probably like Superboy Prime, right? Which is ridiculous. It just it just depends on the writer. And obviously there's a version of Superman who got beat by Muhammad Ali. When I believe his powers were suppressed. And he ends up fighting Muhammad Ali in a boxing match and he loses. And Dragon Ball fans like to bring that up. It's like, c come on, man. You know, Goku lost to Tau Pai Pai. You know, it's it's just you can't really go by who they lost to. It's it's you got to go by like what they've done and, and what are their 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 strengths, uh, feats of strength. You know, uh, feats of speed. So tell me, small fry, have you heard? about the Golden Triumph Forks. There are such things. The art chart. There's a and there's a chart that will show you where to find them. On that island there. If you want it if you want it? Try asking that huge grouchy looking stone watcher. I doubt you could even budge the thing though. You got skinny arms fry. You got skinny little arms fry. You gotta build up, build up the muscle fry. Gotta do some weights. Okay, so north. That's where we're going, right?
Atomic says, Superboy Prime is extremely powerful. He is the reason Jason Todd came back to life from punching a wall, altering reality. Who's Jason Todd? <laughs> that sounds like an incredible feat there. Bringing somebody back to life by, by what, punching a wall? Yeah, Superboy Prime's story looks insane. I, I may actually read that series. The last comic book series I read was uh, Invincible. I, I read like Invincible and all the side issues. I used a, a reading guide. It, it's really good. I really enjoyed Invincible. The characters are, are nowhere near powerful like 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 not even close to DC universe right they're more like um, they're they're more like Saiyan saga scenes right they actually remind me a lot of Saiyans with the Viltrumites and there we go we found the fish yeah last night Chris told me that the fishies hang out by the island so I've been using that trick. Tommy Bomb says Jason Todd is the second Robin that was killed by the Joker. He's back as Red Hood. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I know, I know just a little bit about Batman uh, from what I've seen in the movies. Uh, in the animated movies. Okay, there was this one Batman animated movie where there was like a bunch of Robins. There was, I think, Nightwing. There was... Uh, there there was Red Hood, the one you mentioned. And there was the young kid. Young, the uh, young kid's dope, man. He was in the uh, Turtles movie. The animated movie where, uh, where the Turtles meet Batman. And then Shredder fights Batman. That one is... That one is really good, actually. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it. I take it you want a chart and information about this island. And start by opening... Oh, okay. That's just repeating the... Line. I stole the Trifierce, says... Who do you think would win in a fight? Zero from Mega Man or Trunks from from with the Z Sword? Now, which version of Trunks are are we talking about? Um, Trunks after he got his training, like like after the Cell Saga. So he goes back home and then he whoops the androids and then he goes and blast Cell, you know, and his story's done. Because he said Z-Swords, so that would have to be future Trunks. It can't be young Trunks, right? And Zero. So from what I've seen on Death Battle, uh, the Mega Man characters are insanely powerful. And uh, the strongest ones are from the... I think the Mega Man Battle Network? Or or the one after that, that, that came out, is even on the next level. So... Zero would be from the X series, so they're still pretty powerful then. So I don't know. I don't know. Atomic says they changed Jason's return to life story to make it more grounded in Under the Red Hood animated movie. Movie reason is better. Okay, I'll have to check that one out. You, Atomic, you also think Z, uh, Zero would be Trunks? Yeah, because... Um, so the, the issue with Dragon Ball characters is all they have is... Uh, they have Strength, they have Speed, and they have Key Blast. That's it, right? Um, when you read comic books and, and other stuff, you start to see that there's power in other ways, right? So, like in 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 Mega Man X, uh, in Mega Man X, I think those guys are like incredibly uh, durable. They could 
they can withstand big explosions, right? And from what I remember, Zero Sword, I think he was actually on a death battle. So I'm just using that, right? So his, his sword can cut through almost anything, right? You've seen those weird rings of light that appear on the seas at night, haven't you? Yeah, well, those things are a sure sign that there's treasure. Oh, okay, okay, whatever. Just tell, just tell me about treasure. Else in the past does make a great point. Trunks' attacks are super effective against androids. Okay, so so future Trunks. Now, it all comes down to, obviously, who's, who's faster, who's more durable. And who can deal more damage. So, I'm not sure if Trunks can actually damage Zero. But again, like, I don't know enough about zero to assess this I also have a weird fetish of uh, <laughs> whenever I see uh, anime characters pitted against Western characters I like to see the Western characters win because um, growing up all throughout my my teenage years my friend group was always like, yo, man, anime characters are so strong and all that. And I was always the one saying, no, man, anime characters, you know, you, like, okay, some of them are really, really powerful. Like the ones in like Sailor Moon, right? Uh, some of the characters in Sailor Moon are like Beerus level from, from Dragon Ball Super. They can blow up universes, right? You, uh, you got like characters from Saint Seiya. Uh, they, could, they could also blow up universes from what I heard. You got um, you got Dark Schneider from uh, Bastard. He pretty much fights gods, you know. He's that powerful, and he can't be killed, you know. He gets like ripped, ripped up limb to limb, and he's that powerful. So those guys, yeah, I think they would have a chance against incredibly powerful Western characters, right? But I know for sure Marvel doesn't have the strongest characters. Usually it's uh You gotta take like D DC over Marvel. Every variation of uh, a character made DC is usually more powerful. I learned that from actually Death Battle. I've always grown up reading Marvel. And then my childhood got torn to shreds from Death Battle. It's like, yeah, let's say um, Wonder Woman is stronger than Thor. It's like, what? How is that possible? Or in um, in DC versus Marvel in in the 90s, Superman beat Hulk. So I was like, okay, that's that's fair, you know, stronger. But they had uh, they had Spider-Man beat Superboy, which I never understood because Superboy is like over a hundred tons of strength, and Spider-Man is only twenty tons. They they had Wolverine beat Lobo, that was a big one. Storm beat Shazam, like <laughs> that's just crazy, right? When you think about it. Storm beat Shazam. It was just a popularity contest, right? Tommy says, anime characters are so strong, yet they have blood squirt from their nose from a cute girl that likes them. Batman beats everyone. Yeah, that's... That's crazy, like, I'm not a Batman fan. Uh, I like more the Batman C uh, series, right? Like, I like watching the cartoon because it's really good. I like every character in there, but I've just never been a fan of Batman as, as, as Batman. But I understand 
that his power is like he basically finds a weakness, right? And he and he exploits that with his traps and all that. So in let's say in a fight where everything's allowed and he's got enough prep time, he could probably beat anybody. On on death battle though, they don't allow that. They don't allow prep time. So uh, they did Spider-Man versus Batman, and Spider-Man ends up winning. It's just um, Batman like would would escape and put traps everywhere, but Spider-Man has spider senses, so he would just know where all the traps are, right? It's just imagine if Batman had enough prep time, he would nullify Spider-Man's spider senses, so then he would win. But in, in death battle, you don't get that. It's kind of like uh, you're just thrown in there and then it's like fight it out. It's crazy too because Batman is uh, he's he's just a human. He doesn't have any powers. He's like peak level human. What a uh, what the strongest dude on the planet and the fastest dude would look like, right? Well, it's right there, you, my young fry on that island, you know, a chart showing you where to find them. Of course, getting, getting it's, getting it is the hard part. And that's all the info I got to offer. Atomic says Storm is powerful though. She could beat many people using elements. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Storm is uh, she's like one of the most powerful uh, mutants. I bet. I bet she beats pretty much any mutant out there. Right. She could. She, she could literally explode, explode people with her with her lightning. Uh, she fought Korra, I believe. That's her name. From uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender. I don't watch that show, right? But. They showed Korra. It's just Storm pretty much nullified everything that that Korra had, and she was able to actually kill Korra. And she ends up putting putting her fingers on Korra's <laughs> Korra's head, and I think she explodes her head. Right? Yeah, Storm is really powerful. I stole the Trifear says. Who do you think would win? In this fight, Berserk, uh, Guts from Berserk, or Falcon Armor Mega Man X, six version, zero lightsaber. Bro, that's not even close. Uh, zero, zero is like he's on a different level. Guts is more, more like Conan level. He's he beat Conan in a fight because of his armor. But he's more around that level. Zero is like... I'd say Zero is... Oh, man. He's on a totally different level. I think a good fight would be something like... Uh, Dracula. From... From Castlevania. Right, peak Dracula, strongest form versus guts. I think that would be that would be a sick battle. I don't know who would win. I don't know enough about uh, Dracula. I do know some about guts and his sword. His sword would probably seal away Dracula, right? <laughs> you just want to see Mega Man guys go each against each other. What about something like um, a character from the Mega Man series versus Samus? Or... Who else? Who else? Or Guts versus... What about Guts versus Alucard from... I think it's called uh, Bansing, Van Helsing Ultimate. 
I think that would be a great one too. Oh, here it is. And there's the fish. I stole the Trifar said Dracula versus Link. I think Link wins. Uh, Link is... I, from what I saw, the Cloud versus Link battle, it just showed me how strong Link is. And... They, they actually did Dracula versus Ganon. Dracula won, and it was really, really close. And Link beats Ganon. Like, pretty much every single time, right? Atomic says the Dark Storm boss battle is very hard in Marvel Nemesis game. And you are Wolverine. She holds Volvi in place with wind and strikes him repeatedly with lightning. Yeah, uh, Storm is like crazy powerful, man. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you this. I read, I've, I've read some X-Men in the past, right? So there's one point. In the X-Men series, where uh, Storm loses her powers, okay? Because uh, I think it was Forge. Forge is trying something to, like, cure mutants. And he takes away Storm's, uh, Storm's powers. So Storm doesn't have any powers left, and she's still in the X-Men. And uh, a fight happens between her and Cyclops, okay? And Cyclops has all of his powers, and Storm beats Cyclops, basically using martial arts. Storm is that powerful. It's like, she don't need no powers. And plus she has, um, in, in Marvel, they also judge characters on leadership skills. So somebody like Captain America ranks really high. Because he, he can command a whole group of heroes. And it's like, when he's with those heroes, he's actually stronger. Because of his leadership skills, Storm actually has, uh, her, her leadership skills are almost as good as Cyclops. And Cyclops is, is, he's like considered really, really high, right? So she also has that. So she has leadership skills, she has extremely good martial arts. On top of that, her powers are so good, right? I stole the Trifar says, Van Helsing versus Beast Ganon. That's, uh, that's an interesting one. I don't know how, so Van Helsing, when he loses all of his souls, he's like, he can be killed, right? Can he kill Ganon or, or I think it comes down to who can kill who. Because they both have so much power, right? Atomic says Batman versus Dracula is an actual movie. I think I've seen that, but that was so long ago. Atomic says Storm was the leader of one of the X-Men teams when they had split teams. Yeah, uh, they did blue and gold. Um, Storm was the leader in the in the gold team, and uh, there was parts in the series where um, where Cy Cyclops was gone, and then Storm Storm took over the team, right? So she had like a lot of experience leading the X-Men. I believe that was when. I think that's after the Dark Phoenix Saga. So, Jean Grey dies. Cyclops goes off. Finds Madeline Cryer. I think that's her name. She looks like exactly like Jean Grey. And um, at that time, Storm take, takes over, right? Long ago, there was this huge fairy who lived to the south of here in the forest of Outset Island. Now, all that's left is the ruins of Fairy Mountain where she lives. Start aside. Tell you the truth, 
I hear there is still a fairy there. Yep. She's still alive and kicking down their fry. That's all the info I got. Now nah, that's all the guy you want to tell me. You don't want to tell me everything. Yeah, I'm almost done, guys. Three more squares. Uh, kiss. So. That's an amazing series, X-Men. Getting into it without knowing anything, though, it would be... There's just so much to read, right? Of course, there's always the animated cartoon from the 90s. That was so good. I bet you the fish is right around there. Atomic says Madeline Pryor is Jean Grey's, Jean Grey's clone and the actual mother of Cable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Madeline Pryor was created by Mr. Sinister. Because Mr. Sinister. Yeah, um, so the the continue uh, continuity was kind of changed because they didn't really know where they were going. Chris Chris Claremont. I think it was Chris Claremont and uh Michelle Simonson, they were writing the story at that time. So they, they were really certain, right? So there was like Apocalypse was introduced, uh, Mr. Sinister created um, Madeline Pryor, Gambit was introduced. Gambit was supposed to be Mr. Sinister, but then, then they changed that, right? And yeah, um, Madeline Pryor. So how did they do it? Mr. Sinister gets the. That's right, he gets the DNA from Madeline Pryor and Cyclops, and he makes Cable. Then there's that whole Strife thing, right? Where we thought, like, who's the clone? Is it Strife or Cable? Yeah, Cable was supposed to be the clone, then they changed it in the last second, right? So it became Strife. But yeah, man, you got it dead on, that's it. And then, you know what happens with, with Madeline Pryor? Inferno, where she becomes the Goblin Queen. That, that arc was insane, right in the middle of New York, summoning demons everywhere, right? There was like Daredevil, there was all these superheroes in there. Yeah, X-Men's so, so good, especially like, if you guys would read any X-Men series, I'd say go and read like Chris Claremont's X-Men. So that, start, that starts with Giant Size. It's got like Colossus, Storm, and Wolverine on it. Nightcrawler. Two more. Two more charts. I'm not including that middle one. You've seen the boat sailing around here with the real huge cannons, right Fry? I bet you those things have their hulls packed with treasure. Of course, if you don't have a cannon yourself, there's no way you'll ever sink one of them. Oh! Is that what you do? With those little pirate ships? You're supposed to blow them up. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh man, come on. Do I have more? Yeah, I got just enough. Hmm? 
And if you guys love X-Men, there's actually a, a series of game called um, X-Men Legends. They are on GameCube, PS2, Xbox. So X-Men Legends 1 is, it's pretty good. X-Men Legends 2 is like beyond good. It's so good. And I'll tell you this, it plays like Baldur's Gate. So it's a RPG. And if you guys really like that style of gameplay, there's a game called Marvel Ultimate Alliance on Xbox 360 and PS3. It's basically like you just play Marvel superheroes, and then it's like Baldur's Gate. So you need levels, you have stats, you get items. You play teams of four superheroes. One more. Atomic says, Fatal Attraction was good story to where Magneto fucks up Wolverine badly. Yeah! That leads to um, Onslaught, I believe. Because Professor S gets so pissed off at Magneto, right? I didn't I didn't read that. I didn't read Fatal Attractions, but um, I remember the cover. It's the one where uh, Magneto sucks all the adamantium from uh, Wolverine, right? Atomic says, X-Men Legends 1 and 2 are great the games and the games that they made right before switching to Marvel's Ultimate Alliance series. Yeah, exactly. Fun fact, uh, I stole the Triforce says, fun fact, Russian version of Ocarina of Time came with a comic, with a little comic that told about how Link's, Link's dad didn't want him to grow up violent. So he sent him to his mom to the forest, and upon entering the forest, she turned into a tree, and they hollowed out, you know, the house that you find recover hearts in that her. Really? That's some sick story, man. <laughs> Use the treasure that's hidden. On that island there, the thing that vanishes as soon as you get near it won't vanish anymore, you know it. I'm talking about it, that thing that appears on night when a wee bit of the right half of the moon is still missing. Don't you know what I'm talking about? It. It's it. It's uh, Stephen King's It, of course. Should I go there? Let's go. I know what to do. I love Link's expressions. <laughs> Puts the pear on his head. Can I not fly any higher? I can't. get there I know how to get there cyclones get okay. so I want to get to the top 
pop part, right? That's crazy. too far? Yeah, whatever. Let's keep going. Yeah, some, uh, some dark Russian stories, huh? Ocarina of Time. Yeah, I don't think we've ever seen Link's parents in any game. They're just not there. And there's the fish. Dawn fish, come to me, Dawn fish. I sold the Trifear says. Actually, we see his grandma. Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, his his grandma's in this, and we see Link's sister, which she's still in jail. I haven't saved her yet. <laughs> Should I go save her? <laughs> yes. On the island due east of here lives an old man who was once a master swordman. He's got proof of it too. He has a knight's crest. Want to know what that thing is, Fry? Well, too bad. Can't go giving away every secret. Exactly. They're not telling me everything. These guys are dicks. Those fish. Then why don't we go east? Atomic says Link had an uncle, sister, grandmother, and that's it. Yeah, that that scene with the uncle and a link to the past, it's it's pretty iconic, right? It's a good intro, too. start doing after I go there I'm gonna start looking at the chart the uh, the maps the pirate maps that I have completing those So the Troy Fear says a big birdie, bur big burby took her bit in it. It's hard times. We oughta here on them in such a little boat. Yeah, Link is traveling in all these oceans in a tiny little boat. So brave.
Come on, man. I don't know. I'm not doing this. That treasure can go suck it. Look at Link's ex expressions, they're so good. I think I should stop getting treasure now. Because I'm close to... Oh wait. There's a knight that lives on here? Oh! You know who he's talking about? That old dude that I was training with. Okay, whatever. Let's check out these things. Oh, that's one way to do it. Okay. Okay. I wish the UI was better. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's all the way up there. No, 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 no. Okay, let's try the next one. And that's it. Uh, I can't be that. Do this? No. Okay, so this one is closer. Square Islands. That's it. Okay, and this is really close. So why don't we do that? It's uh, Angular Island. Okay. Comic says today was a long day, so I'm gonna going to lurk. I stream for almost seven point five hours before raiding, and then chilling. Yeah, yeah, bro, you you raided me, and then you've been here for like over an hour. So I, I appreciate that. I appreciate the support. Thank you very much. So you are peacing out. Then have a great night, and I'll see you around, bro. Yeah, after I raid, I normally say like. I say hi, and then I just say I'm gonna I'm gonna lurk, right? Because I raid at the end of my stream, and just want to go to bed afterwards. Start getting ready for bed. Oh, man. 
Yeah, it's like 8.30 here. Should call it quits in like half an hour. Know what Link should do? He should pay a boat guy or boat people to build him a bigger boat. Stick this dragon's head on it. The red line. Or build the boat around him or something. There's no music. Music. Stop. Could be the island. Please don't tell me there's going to be sharks here. Of course. Go away, sharks. Ah, oh, you suck. I'm surprised they don't just eat Link when he's in the water. Look. Oh! They can actually attack? <laughs> Damn, that's not the right place. That's it. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Go away, you stupid sharks. These lame sharks. Jaws would have finished me off by now. Oh, there it is. That's the, that's the ultimate treasure. <gasps> Did I get it? Better be something good, like a heart piece or a bottle. Nice! Yes! Yes! That's awesome, okay. Yeah, that was it. Okay, next. Where was this again? Even close by? It's all the way in north, okay. Um, let's see. What about this one? This looks like an ear. It. 
It's not it either. It's not it. Okay. It's like that's it. No, no. Close. It's this one. Damn, that's far away. Okay. Um. Whatever. Let's let's go to it. And I'll hit up the moon. Or, is there another one that's close by? this one okay atomic says definitely your streams are always so much fun oh thanks bro much appreciate that so up up right up up right So up, up, right. Right there, yeah. So then charts, those um, blue charts that you get for treasure, they're usually good. Maps always send me in areas with shit weather, right? Look at that. Thunder lightning. You got Thor over there. Blasting away. It's at the end of the square. I can see it. I should probably hit these up, right? Oh, I see them. They got those goblin dudes. A wobbling.
thought I could hook them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know how to hook those guys now. Maybe I could hook. Oh. Oh. Oh, what? What? A fairy as well? No, 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 no. This is amazing. Is that a fairy? Look at that thing. It looks like a chubby dude. <laughs> the fairy. Look at it. That don't look like a fairy. this thing too. So I've already been here, but when I killed the enemy, it fell in the ocean and I wasn't able to get the butterflies. Okay. fairy come back oh I thought I had the sail there damn it fairy why don't you understand I don't need you It's on the right side, like upper right side. Well, shit, I'll, I'll never. <laughs> that 
sucks. How do I get there? I could... Oh, okay. Huh. Figures. The hell? Oh. oh oh to think that over there there would be such a container. <gasps> there. I may have gotten that one. Yeah, okay, so we are looking, looking south, right? Okay. Oh, uh, how do I get up there? Ah, good job, Lynn. the lava man oh don't go in the lava oh I gotta probably pick it up oh. no 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 pick it up pick it up pick it up I guarantee you I gotta put it on there Come on, man! What the crap is this? Why are you jumping over? Get back in there. I'm getting grumpy. I'm getting tired. Really? Really? Really, Link? Stay away from the lava. Oh, that's how it 
Get out of here, you piece of shit. place is big wait so I need the ice power right or else I can't go there oh oh so I gotta walk all the way back and can, can I just dump in the lava reset <laughs> Take my time. Better be gone. Good. Okay, what? What? Do I have to throw that? I gotta throw him? Oh, I see. Okay. Get over here. In the middle, you piece of shit. Oh my god. Too many buttons, guys. Too many buttons. I get confused what to press. Yeah, I'm not doing this. No way. I thought it was going to be something short. I go and get it. I'm not figuring this out. Uh, I'm going to save and then we'll raid some. Sorry for this right now. I'm going to eat, shower, and then go to bed. Oh, we got a new follower. We got... Here, that's weird. It doesn't show it on there. Did I miss a bunch of followers? I stole the tri Pierce. Followed me. Thank you so much. You want me to stretch? You want me to stretch? <laughs> Just about to raid, but uh, yeah, let's stretch. And thank you for following me so much. You can catch me. Um, I'm not on tomorrow, actually. So you can catch me Tuesday to Sundays. 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. on Saturdays. So you can catch me at those times. Okay, so let's raid somebody, guys. Who is on? We got a zombie apocalypse. Magic the Gathering. We got Katombas. Doing a speed run of Final Fantasy Seven. Who else? The best is on again. <laughs> this this guy just streams like twenty four seven. Um, are you guys up for um, speed run of Final Fantasy seven or Ma uh, Magic the Gathering? Let's go with FF seven. This guy is really cool, Katombas. 
His record is seven and a half hours for speedrunning FF7. Okay, more stretching, eh? More stretching. <laughs> I'll see you around. I stole the Triforce. I will be on Tuesday. And you guys have a great night, and catch me again Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific. Peace out.